guys, this is Salt with Vibrant FX, and today we're going to be making this kind of planet-y thing here, um, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start out with a dark background. I used um, this color right here next to the pitch black. I don't like pitch black, so yeah. Um, I'm going to start out, it was 100, 400 by 200 size document, so... Um, 145 soft brush is what I'm going to use to start with here. Um, pick a pink color. I like to use this one. Um, we're going to go with a blue. Another blue. And a purple. You can actually do this with warm colors too. And it won't. It'll stand out come just different colors, obviously. Um, we can just... 23 chalk brush here and go to brushes here are my smudge settings 100 0 100 100 25 i don't even know what that what that's for um 30 0 all right so just smudge in one direction it doesn't have to be perfect um for time's sake i'm going fast here so just try and stay with me i mean we can pause the video no big deal um, just keep smudging till you're done, like this. New layer, um, take a hard brush, so. Not too big. Um, yeah, it's good. 119 is what I used. I'm going to use the same color as my background. And, smaller one. There you go. I probably made this actually too big. So, alright, now you're going to go to your circles, you're going to go outer glow, and pick a color, come on guys, you don't want this gay yellow color, I don't even know why they start you out with that, but pick a good color that matches what you're looking for here, and size is really important here too, because you, know, you don't want something that looks like that, and you could have something that looks like this, just lower the opacity and you'll be all right all right next we are going to make some good size circles like not good size but whatever um a bluish light purplish use this actually that's pretty gay um that's fine and we're gonna erase most of that put another one And one more. Just lower the opacity of these. So they're kind of in there. Try not to make them the same like I did. Um, alright. Next we are going to add some color dodges. If you've ever worked with color dodges, it's a oops, really neat thing you can use to spice it up, I guess. So I'm going to pick the same blue I used for the outer glow, you don't really need to. And make a new layer and set it to color dodge and it really makes um, a difference here. With lighting, I mean, I help people all the time with lighting. and I'm Pretty clueless. People at VFX know all about me and lighting, but I even made a tutorial on it, but I'll show you that later. Right now we're doing this, so... Gonna lower the opacity on this. It's fine. All right, you're gonna go for this kind of not. I almost want to say donut. It's just like the outline of circle. Whoops, the outline of a circle. I'm gonna go for like a tealy, tealy. Huh. Um, so not teal, but not as light as what you've been using. I'm going to use the Outer Glow because I used them in my last one, but I'm going to turn those off for right now. And I'm going to use the same color I did for those um, color dodges on the circles, the big circles. But I'm going to use those inside here. Um, color dodge. Just fill those in like this. Probably made these um probably a little too... 
too right, but it's alright. Just lower the opacity, and you'll be okay. Alright, now I'm gonna take this kind of globey business, whatever thing, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna stick this, actually, yeah, I'm gonna stick this under my big circles. And, um, that, this should have an outer glow on it. Um, I put white on it, because oftentimes you'll see later that, um, um, the color of the shape I'm actually using is the color outer glow I put on it. I'm gonna do one more. It's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to go into bridge and I'm going to find a nice bubble C four D. So like bubble effects. You can find a lot of them in the resource section at Vibrant FX. I mean people go crazy in there, especially Finn. If you join, you'll get to know Finn rather quickly. He's a resource maniac, but I think they even made a resource mod just for him. So, how about that? But just resize this in here. Um, let me keep going. It's too big. Okay. I'm going to set this to linear dodge. And I want this on top of the thing. I just erase the parts you don't like, don't go too crazy, and have like one little circle left, like I do sometimes, but just erase the parts you don't like. You want to keep some of the little effects, obviously, in here. I'm going to do one more. Probably I'll do another one later, but I want to start getting pink in here as well, because we have a hell of a lot of blue in here. Just take some pink in here. Um, give me one sec. Actually, that's not even pink, but I'm going to use it for the pink circles. So, I guess it counts. Um, again, arrays don't go crazy. But you see how I'm using it for the um, pink circles in here. And one more, because I need pink. Probably gonna end up using the other one too, but go figure. Alright. Again, resize um, linear dodge. Resize. Erase the parts you don't like. Okay. Okay. So next, we are going to take a hard brush, probably around fifty, forty-five, whatever floats your boat. I'm going to take a. I mean, yeah, this, you can make this completely yours. I mean, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. When I used to follow tutorials, I was like, I got pretty mad at myself when it didn't look like the person who was making it. But just take a color and I put it behind my big circles and just erase part of it like we did with the circles inside. I'm going to take a magenta too. <coughs> Sorry. And just do that again. Actually, I hate that color. It's terrible. Try lighter pink pastel magenta. How about that? Alright, there we go. Alright, now, this is the part where it gets kind of, I don't want to say hard, um, but give me one sec, I need more, more color dodge. I'm going to put pink in there, pink color dodge. 